Dr. Ryan Cole continued the defense of his medical license in the state of Washington today. And on this day, day three, it was his turn to testify. Dr. Cole, the Garden City pathologist, is facing charges. He made a lot of false and misleading statements related to the COVID-19 uh, virus and the vaccine, referring to it as poison, clot shot, needle rape. Remember that? He's also accused of treating patients with COVID-19 or those wanting to avoid it in a matter that was beneath the standard of care, specifically prescribing people ivermectin over instant messaging on a website without knowing much about these people. Well, this morning, the Washington Medical Commission panel heard from a St. Luke's pulmonary specialist who testified during the late summer, early fall of 2021. He would see about 10 to 15 patients a day, many of them in the ICU. Well, Dr. Eric Skolton said more than half of those patients would not be vaccinated, and most of them would mention Dr. Cole, what he said in his speeches and his promotion of ivermectin. When Washington senior counsel asked Dr. Cole about it, she wanted to highlight things he had said repeatedly in public settings. For example, back on March 4th, 2021, when Dr. Cole first gave a presentation at the Idaho State House during an Idaho Freedom Foundation presentation of capital clarity. And he was touting the benefits of anti-parasitic medicine that many use to deworm their animals. Enter an effective prevention and treatment, ivermectin. 100% of the world trials have shown benefit. Decreases acquisition. Prophylactically, I've been on it for two months now. Would it be your testimony under oath today that 100% of uh, the world's ivermectin trials have shown benefit? No. Uh, it's my testimony of the trials that I had reviewed at that time that were available in the ever shifting and changing literature. Uh, that's what I had read to that point. Ivermectin still has not been approved as a successful treatment for the coronavirus. Its efficacy remains unclear. And according to the FDA, that's according to the National Institutes of Health, that's according to the New England Journal of Medicine. Well, that wasn't the only thing Dr. Cole said, which was brought into question today. I have seen a 10 to 20 fold increase of uterine cancer in the last six months in my laboratory. And I keep data year to year to year. In the last six months, when did we start the shots? January. Is it your testimony under oath today that that statement was true? It's not my testimony that that's true today. I went back and looked at the statistics, and it was um, at that point in time a fivefold. There were several instances of that today, and there still has not been an established link between the COVID-19 vaccine causing cancer or even promoting it. This won't be the last we'll hear from Dr. Cole this week. His attorney is expected to call him in his own defense, and that will happen likely tomorrow.